Hey, today on Beat Design, I've got me performing and a new segment with my friend Ben Casey called Quick Tips. Check it out. Really cool. Do so. Hey, this is Thomas Piper of the People's Republic of Sound, and this is Beat Design, where we do live improv electronic music. Um, if you like what we're doing, subscribe down below. Um, also, check out my website, thepeoplesrepublicofsound.com. I've got drum sounds and cool things and events when I'm performing to let you guys know. we got some cool features after this. Hopefully, we'll be adding that to the show. So, um, let's get it popping.
Ben, visiting the People's Republic of Sound. I'm here at Beat Design with a quick tip for Ableton Push. So the 64 pads on Push make it great to have a whole bunch of different drum sounds available all at one time, but it also means if I come back to a kit I built, it can be a little hard to find my sounds later. Like, okay, so I've got some kicks here, there's some snares up there, and there's some hats down here. But if I want to really quickly keep track of where everything is, I can color code all these pads. All you have to do is hold the shift key right here. So if I hold down shift and press a pad, now I can pick any color I want to assign to that pad. So I can quickly say, hey, all my snares should be purple. Maybe I want my kick drums to be green. And maybe these hi-hats right here, let's make those hi-hats red. So now I can see at a glance where my, blue, my green kicks are and my blue snares and my red hi-hats.